Hi, I'm Seamless, and this is the 19th uh, 20K tutorial video. And this one is on a prototype track. Um, it was suggested by Reddit user Chavez. Chavez. And this one is pretty much the most basic uh, FM vowel type bass you can make. Well, it's not the most basic. It's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a step above a bit with, as you can see, a tiny bit changes. Tiny, tiny changes I made to just the most basic setup. Um, but this is what it sounds like. <laughs> Saw me messing around with the phase there, and this is something that um, I like. I like Citrus for over FM8. This, this, this particular ability to control the phase of a lot of harmonics. Now, when I, uh, the harmonics are important because in in your usual FM setups, so you're seeing I'm only doing this with one operator. But if you wanted to do this with FM8, what you need to do is you need to have one operator that's a triangle wave. Uh, that's the same pitch as your output operator. So if the output operator number one here, which would be operator F in in FM8. Which you by default, and so then say you want to modulate it by operator E or operator two in Citrus, like so, and get that. Um, the primary um, the, the the method by which you control the modulation of FM, like how you control the amount of FM, is uh, that you control the volume of the modulating operator. So in this case, I'm controlling the volume of operator two, and really in Citrus, the way that this works is that uh, you go to the operator that's being modulated. And you go to the mod tab, and then you can change the, the amount with the various modifiers. In this case, I'm using modifier X, so that I can control it and, mod and automate it directly. And that controls the input amount of every operator that could go into operator 1. So 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, but they're all 0 right now anyway. In FM8, in order to make this, this exact same automation, you need to automate the volume of operator E, or 2, or whatever operator you put in there. And you want to make it go from 0 to 100. And it's a bit difficult in FM8 just because the, all the various options, like, you know, you have volume, you have amplitude, you have, um, like, the in, the actual input amount that you choose. And they don't necessarily, none, none of them are absolute. So you need to, like, I'm sure there's some way to do it that makes more sense than how I know how to do it. But I don't really use FM8 that much to know beyond how just FM works in general, which is what I just described. So then once you have the triangle, you make another triangle. And uh, then you set this one to a high harmonic. I usually start with 64 because it's decent. It's five octaves. It's fine. <laughs> and you get that. So um, the part that I was doing, like, the exact same thing would be if I did this. <laughs> As you see, it's the fifth, the fifth octave, the fifth uh, har uh, octave, which would be uh, ratio 32 in FM8 because FM8 starts its operators at ratio 1 by default. And it's just used ratio 2, which means it's half. And, and FM8, keep that in mind. Um, and in Citrus, though, you get this oscillator tab where you can actually turn on and turn off individual harmonics, which makes it a lot easier because then if I wanted to do stuff like this, I'd have to actually use three more operators in FM8 or use one of the operators with the correct uh, harmonic uh, setting, like the 135 setting, stuff like that. As you see here, as I mess around with various uh, harmonic choices, there's, there's a lot of options in terms of tuning the sound to sound like the right, um, like, formant pitch. The actual pitch of the sound isn't changing, but the formant pitch is. I'm right-clicking to, to do that. And such. Another cool aspect is the fact that um, of all the harmonics you put down, I'm using the amplitude, which is the top top half of this graph here, but the bottom half is the phase, which changes the starting phase of each individual harmonic. And this is extraordinarily powerful when you get to stacking different uh, operators modulating, you know, into a chain. But in this, in this, even in this very basic set right here, uh, being able to modulate or change the phase of an, of, a, of a harmonic is very powerful. <laughs> And so that's an extremely basic kind of base that you can make with Citrus. Or if it made, as I described. That's pretty much it for this one. This will go up, and I will be moving on. Off button. Off.